One thing I see a lot of lower bouts and well, everybody, to be fair, in my opinion, certainly coming from a fitness background, do wrong is warm ups. Yeah. So what's your warm up routine? Okay. For when you compete. So I'm... Um, my warm-up thing is it's hard now with the local ones because I'm chatting quite a lot to people and I'm if, if I'm helping out coaching or whatever. But for the big ones, I've really got to switch off. If I'm competing, I don't go there first thing. If I can help it, I'll go there two hours before. So I'll go there two hours before. I'll have my headphones on. I'll find a quiet corner somewhere where no one like can come and talk to me and I know I'm safe and I'll try and to like get my head down or sleep. The preparation starts the day before with what I eat, like a carb load and stuff like that. But when I get to the um, event, I'll just find a quiet corner. Then after that, I know you can normally watch it on your phone now or in the big events, they got on the TV screens. About an hour before, I'd get to the warm-up mat. I'll just do some kind of general warm-up. I've got one where I need no one or I've got one where I've got a partner. Mm -hmm. And that normally takes 15 or 20 minutes. Then I spend 15 or 20 minutes stretching and then I'm back in the pen. Um, it's hard to try and do that warm-up after that because you're on in like 10 minutes and then you're back in the pair and you just yeah. you get like a proper sweat on though you know i try I mean? because, to yeah, yeah yeah it's it's a weird one because i feel like even though i competed quite a lot i've still not um nailed it on the head yet and i do feel like probably getting more of a sweat on would be would be better i've i've managed to like find let's call it flow in like two or three competitions and like i've done without and those competitions are like pfft, like they're rare. And then when I say two competitions, not for the whole competitions, it might be for like two or three rounds yeah. on that competition. Yeah. But when you find that, it's just like, I wish people could experience it because it's, um, it's magic. It's and, magic. In, and in between the fights, um, or the matches, what, what do you do in between to keep warm? Do you re warm up? Do you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah I know what you're saying. Do you keep active in between? Yeah. Um, Cause yeah. sometimes like, you know, the, the one we've done, I, I had a, I, my first mm -hmm. one was at like 10 and my next one was at four. Yeah. I, I see that like six hours. <sighs> yeah. That's exactly, well, I think there's, there's two questions there potentially because I think I, I see that people warm up and they go into like the pen, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then they might be there for ages. Yes. And then they'll go and compete and then they've got a gap then. So they win. They then got a gap or a period of time before they then go and compete again. Yeah. So that's question one, what to do there. And I think the second question is like, do Nogi and Gi on the same day? Mm -hmm. And then you've got like a big flower yeah, cap, right? Yeah. So yeah, that's, can we answer the first question? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, I think um, the warm up really, I, f I think where I see the biggest mistake in that sort of day is the food because it's hard to eat in that day because you're nervous anyway. So the food's really important on that day. You want stuff that's like easy to digest. So I normally take like overnight oats in my bag, loads of honey in there. I've got electrolytes on me with all water. I've got my Farragon that's on me. So if I'm back in the pen, as you know, from the your first comp did you get forearm burn and stuff in your no, I wasn't forearm? too bad, to be, too bad. To, be fair, to be fair you say that now but when you came off the mat oh the first, first thing said. yeah I did actually yeah. like, on my first one yeah. my first yeah, one I went so forearms, 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 forearms. Yeah, 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 sort of yeah. up. that's why I got the Farragon on me so I'm back in the pen and I'm sort of Farragon in my arms I forgot that <laughs> completely <laughs> like, like, do you know what you forget most of it though you do yeah I can't even really recollect it really most people they don't eat all day or I see them eating they'll have like oh I've just had a, a, one what was one of the girls from our gym she was like oh I've just weighed in, I've had a sausage roll. And I was like, fuck, <laughs> what is a sausage? It's got protein in it. And I was like, nah, you don't want to have a sausage roll now. You don't want to get a body lock after that, do you? <laughs> <laughs> so I think like the nutrition on that day is important. It's yeah, just high okay. carb, easy to digest stuff. Yeah. And you can use like honey and stuff like that, over mm. like oats. Um, using the Farragon yeah. during to work out those tight muscles. Mm. And really, after that point, you've got the nervous energy out. So I don't really tend to do another warm up again. I probably should, and I'm not saying it's the right answer. Um, but if I'm if I'm waiting two hours, and definitely I'm going to just do the same same cycle. Yeah, okay. I'm going to start an hour before, fifteen to twenty minutes warm up, and then I'm going to try and go in. But yeah. it is difficult to manage that because you're getting called forward, and then you're off the mat, and then you're so it's hard to sort of sometimes yeah. going all day. Yeah. But I think the where I see the biggest holes is people's nutrition on that day because it's like okay you, you're going to compete first at nine and then you, your last one especially doing the absolute is not till five so you're going to have a coffee and a sausage roll for lunch and nothing else all day like and because of nerves you don't really feel hungry how do, how do you how do you manage your nerves 
Nerves like, are always there. And I, like, do, you, do you get that at local comps still? And, yeah, you know, no sometimes, weirdly, is. more at local comps because people are like, oh, well... There's an expectation that people know yeah, you, I guess, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. well, this is easy for you, isn't it? Just, just go and smash this one, will you? And I'm like... Because sometimes, as I said before, the local comps are used for testing. So, say, the last army competition I did, I tried some takedowns. Um, and I don't really do takedowns much. So, I always <laughs> forgot. And it didn't work out for me. And I lost one of the matches. But... You know, I think, well, don't get tied to the outcome, Rick, and it's still difficult to, to not get tied to the outcome. Um, so, yeah, that, that that that's how I sort of try and manage that. How, how do you manage it, though? Like, do you just, just go with the flow? Do like, you do any, like, visualisation or anything like that? Any, uh, any any methods like that at all? I did. I did at White Belt, and all I'm envisioning at White Belt, and it sounds insane, and it's probably embarrassing saying this, but it's like a black belt gold medal at one of the, one of the big events, and that's all I've had in my focus. All the smaller comps, they don't really matter. I'm just focusing on that black belt sort of medal, um, and that's what I'm, I'm aiming for. But for the smaller events, I don't. I try and just keep calm, so I stay away from the event for as long as I can, um, and I try and sleep for as much as I can. People hear about me going Vegas and Abu Dhabi, and they're like, oh, you must be having an awesome time. I'm like, people don't know. I'm literally in the hotel. I don't even go out. I don't even see anyone. I'm just in the hotel. I'm, if I'm going out, I'm gonna go and get some like food, high carbs, back in the hotel room I'm just going to get my head down and sleep as much as possible and then when I get to the venue the the nerves are there but you um, Teddy Atlas I don't even know who he is mm. he's like a, a boxing yeah, trainer yeah. yeah he's got a good thing he said like uh, you see it as fire you see it as the, the fire is always there but you sort of like you have to control it he's, fire is like powerful if you use it to cook or whatever but also it can burn you as well so you have to get used to that it's always there for me I do think at the higher end of the sport um People think like Gordon Rye is arrogant or, and I think you find it at most sportsmen that at the high, high end and I'm nowhere near there. Um, their confidence is also key for that because they go in without that, that, um, that nerves at all. And I don't know if that's built from just years of competing and just having confidence in their ability or just whether years that's, of winning, I imagine. Yeah, it years of winning. Self belief, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. self belief. I think that pays. Gordon, didn't he go like ridiculous at like 120? He's still on that run. Yeah, 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 like, still yeah going, unbeaten. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. fucking nuts. You must feel Crazy. invincible at that point. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? And he's not exactly fighting like low level guys. You know yeah. what I mean? He's, no. he's running through yeah, he's right the, the best top. in the world. Yeah. By it. So I think, yeah, you've got to use that fear to like just con control it almost and uh, and sort of focus it in to sort of doing damage and, you know, without sounding like. Uh, a knob but like focus it in towards them yeah not course, yeah. like in towards yourself and i think that's what part of this whole game plan and systems that are in place helps you do because you know okay i'm in this pressure situation even if it's your bottom side okay i'm in bottom side i'm not really tied to the outcome when this guy moves i'm going to try and move and get back to a guard or whatever you feel a bit more confident in that position instead of feeling that like dread and panic which everyone feels at the start um, it's trying to keep that at bay for as long as you can during during the comp and and I think competing a lot does help that.